everybody, it's Vic from Vic's Creative Corner. Today we are going to talk about HDR gaming for the PC. This is not going to be pertaining to capture cards, so this is just for PC gaming only in HDR. So the first thing we're going to do is add our source, which is going to be our game capture. This will actually capture a full PC game in OBS. And I like to do it with a specific window. So we're going to actually capture our LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. And we're going to select Control F on our keyboard to fit it to our screen here. I, I'm not sure why it always starts in the teeny tiny corner, but if you're struggling with that, Control F and it will resolve your issue to make it full screen. All right. So the first thing is about HDR gaming. We're going to go to our settings. We're going to select our display. And I use my secondary display to actually play games on, whether it's PC or console. And I'm going to turn HDR gaming on. So HDR is going to be on. And if you notice, things look a lot brighter, possibly more washed out, overexposed. And we're going to go ahead and close out of that. We are in now HDR on our screen here. So to fix this, when we're actually going to be playing in HDR gaming, we're going to select our filters. We're going to go to color correction. We're going to call this HDR1. Now from here, on our filter, our gamma is going to be 0 0.20. Our contrast is going to be 0 0.20. Our brightness is going to be negative 0 0.0200. Our saturation is going to be 70. Our hue shift is going to be 10. So that's 10.00. That is our first filter. Our second filter is going to be a chroma key. We're going to name this HDR2. In HDR2, we are going to put our similarity at 1, our smoothness at 80, our key color spill reduction, 100. Our opacity remains the same at 1.0. Our contrast is going to be 0 0.15. And then our brightness is the same. And our gamma is going to be negative 0 0.55. All right, that is our second filter. Our third filter is, is going to be a chroma key. We're going to name this HDR3. All right. So on this one, we are going to select our color type as magenta. Our similarity is going to be 1. Our smoothness is 80. So everything is the same except for the contrast. The contrast is going to be 0 0.80 and our gamma. Our gamma is going to be negative 0 0.10. And that's going to be our filter. So we're going to go ahead and close out. And what we're going to do is launch the game here. We have our filters on, but this is what HDR is going to look like on the actual PC when you're streaming it. And this is very accurate to an HDR monitor or TV. And we'll just pick up where we left off so that way you all can see different colors, different vibrance uh, as far as how it looks. Now when we turn HDR off, that's a different story. <laughs> it looks washed out. Alrighty everybody. So if we look, we turn off HDR, it's washed out. We turn on HDR, and we have very beautiful colors. So I found this on the internet somewhere. I wanted to give kudos to the person who I found this tutorial from because it was amazing for night and day with gaming on PC. And I really do hope you all uh, enjoy this little trick for HDR. If you're playing PC games on your computer and streaming them live, or if you're just recording the game, and then uploading it later. 
doing edits or just game footage. I hope this helps you all, and thank you for watching.